Hi, this is Larry Jordan. Are you feeling frustrated? Well, here's an answer to another Final Cut Pro question. Is transcoding to ProRes faster in Final Cut Pro 10 than in Final Cut 7? The answer is yes, provided you're using Final Cut. Compressor in Final Cut 7 it works with multiple processors and does support up to 4 gig of RAM. doesn't support more than that, but does support up to 4 gig of RAM. So if you were transcoding using compressor, it would probably be about the same in Final Cut 10 versus compressor. However, if you're transcoding in Final Cut 7 compared to Final Cut 10, Final Cut 10 will be much faster. One, it runs in the background, so you don't see how long it takes. Number two, it's taking advantage of much more memory space because it's 64-bit enabled. So if you have 8 gig or 12 gig on your system, it's going to use all of that memory, which means it's accessing the hard disk less, which is much faster. It's using multiple processors, it's using more memory space, and it's running into a very efficient codec, which is ProRes 422. So the answer is yes, it should be faster transcoding in Final Cut 10. My name is Larry Jordan. For more training, both written and video, visit larryjordan.biz store today. And thanks for watching.